Hey guys, it's me, Bernie Bear, and welcome back to Ruin. I thought I would come back and just do one, hopefully, final video of getting everything that I missed. Not collectibles, uh, secrets. In this video, there are, like, four things I want to do. I want to get the two endings that I missed. I want to play Chica's Feeding Frenzy, and I want to find Glamrock Bonnie. Hey guys, it's me, Editing Bernie Bear here, and, uh, yeah, we're not getting Glamrock Bonnie. The method of getting to his room is glitched right now. You need to deactivate 27 wet floor bot signs on a new playthrough. So if you go back to a previous chapter after beating the game, then you can't do it. The first thing I'm gonna do is get the, uh, secret mimic costume ending. And for this, I have to go find four secret cameras hidden throughout the chapters. Let's begin with chapter one. All right, so the first uh, hidden What's camera that supposed to be? is on this. So if I zoom out, there it is. If I press, okay, or if I just look at it, it opens. Kind of a wonky system, but you know, meh. it's fast for entertainment. Stuff's wonky all the time. Also, uh, just a quick little update on our... Wait, is Monty gonna kill me if I don't do that? That does not... Nothing happens with uh, the AR arcade machine. Like, nothing. But as we'll see with Chica's Feeding Frenzy later, something does happen if I beat that. Here's the next one on the Gator Golf Catwalks next to this chair node. Zoom out, and there it is. Man. So, like, something, something about this is just so creepy. I don't know why. Is this? I, th I think this is how I. Yeah, this. Let's go. Yeah. It's Monty's legs. This room's trippy. Anyway, let's deactivate this guy. Also, there's. Shut up! How do you know? How are you doing room any down here of this? I'll explain it okay. all when you get here. That thing is here again. I gotta hide. Save me, Cassie, please. I do wonder if there's like an actual thing down there. There's if that's just the mimic, like I don't know. Anyway. Aha. Uh -huh. I gotta deactivate 27 of you guys, and I really wish there was a count, because I don't know how many I have already. Alright, so Chica's Feeding Frenzy is just over there. We're in. What happened here? Strange. There she is. Chica's feeding frenzy. Play. music. Oh, crap. Yeah, okay, the controls... Oh my god, do I get health back? I don't think I get health back. Yeah, this music's great. I'm so glad they made this playable. Yeah, the controls are a little weird. I don't know, actually, I'm getting used to them. Wait, come back.
I don't think there, there's no glitch in this arcade machine. Oh, there's the boss. Well, one of the bosses. I won't lie, some of the enemy designs in this feel unfinished. Like the red arrows, the boss. But uh, it's fine. I'm just glad we have the minigame. Crap. I walk into that. Yeah. Oh, health! Yeah! Ooh. No, look at that. I don't think your score matters to get the secret. Yeah, you shoot whenever you turn, which is weird. Ooh, Vanessa! Honestly, I think circles is the best... The best way to beat this. Yeah, you better run. I can't see there's too much stuff on the screen. Oh, that's an enemy? Oh. Give me the health. Oh. Alright, we're halfway there.
Dang, this, this is difficult, Jesus. Jesus, I'm gonna die! <laughs> I kind of really don't want to go. <laughs> One more attempt. If I can't beat it this time, I'm not going to beat it.
Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. oh. Yes. Yes. It looks like a speaker box. Yeah, because it is. If I remember correctly, it has like the old UI. Yeah. So it doesn't tell me anything. I, I have no clue why that gives me Chica's voice box. Also, is, is DGY on there? No. Yeah, so. That was torture. Okay, and then this next one. There we go. Also, I completely missed these. I missed the uh, Gregory posters in my first playthrough. Uh, my first playthrough. Yeah, and I missed Gregory confronting Cassie. Oh, hi, Chica. Yeah, I I was not paying attention. So this like shows, hey, they became friends with the Pizza Plex. My mom just texted me. I'm about to die. And then. Cassie saw Gregory was apparently missing, I guess. So she saw that Gregory was missing, and I guess went to explore? I don't know. We don't really know how Cassie got Gregory's message. Like, I thought it was through their walkie-talkies, but she only gets her walkie-talkie whenever she, like, enters the pizza plex, so I don't know. I mean, we know the Mimic can talk through, like, radio broadcast frequencies or whatever so he probably just told her I don't know she walked into the wall again we gotta wait for her to go in there and we can put the voice box in there we go all right am I really doing this Ugh. ew gross that should do it. Okay. Then she won't kill me. Poor Chica. I mean, like, out of the rest of the glam rocks, you don't look... You're recognizable, I'll give you that. But yeah, this is like... I wonder if that trash bag falling is like symbolic of her finally dying. Because we don't see her at all after this point. Like, I guess if you don't put the voice box in, she jump scares you. So she's still active. But she won't kill me now, so maybe the fact that I've given her a voice box means that she's finally able to rest in peace. The last um, thing I'm about her should be here. Zoom out, there it is. Man, that's so, so cool. Mimic time, baby. Assuming I did this right. There's a present over here that I missed. Right here. It's another Faz token. No way, I got it over here. I mean, there's nothing over here. Still cool. Also, I want to see something. Because apparently the backpack, I don't know if it's visible, apparently it has Gregory's name on it. No flipping way it does. You can't really see it at all, and I know the YouTube video's quality is going to make it even worse, but there's a little piece of tape there that says Gregory. That's, that's, that's insane. So Gregory and Vanessa really did come back and made the mixes program. Also, like... I really do wonder what's behind this door, because there's no answer. It's just, I think, I think it's just the void. So like, in-universe, I wonder what it is. All right, let's hope I did this right. You saved me. You saved me. Gregory? Ooh. Uh, yes! Gregory. We did it right. You're not Gregory. What are you? The Mimic! Uh, I'm Gregory. It's the Mimic in the flesh. Uh, 
I don't think you can see that suit normally, like the bird suit I just passed. I don't think you can normally see that unless you get this ending. I don't know. I don't remember seeing it. Cassie, can you hear me? Gregory? Is that really you? I mean, I mean really you. you. I've been trying to reach you all night. I'm not at the pizza place. Something's trying to trick you. You're a bit late. This thing in the basement sounds just like you. How do I know this is you for real? Is there another option? You need to get out of there now. How? I bring him access to the building maps. Just follow the instructions. Awesome. Dude, look at that. Look at that. I'm stuck. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's get the jump scare. Mimic! So cool. The fact that he's wearing a combination of all the costumes that are down here. We're back. There he is. I'm stuck again. Yep. Also, apparently this music, like... The people who made it, apparently the name of it is actually Mimic Chase, so there's even more proof. There's another ending. We'll go there in a second. Yep. Bye, Mimic. Boop. Here we go. gonna lie like it that, that ending is kind of just for some reason there's something about it that's just like it's really unnerving to me like opening all the secret doors and then you go into the secret room and in the files this ending is called the scooper ending so I guess that's like the scooper or some version of it I, I really don't know this ending's confusing it's it's like and then you just see the Mimic's dead body, like, in the suit, like, lying there. Like, that's the final antagonist of the game, and it's just... Like, that's, that's like, the overarching villain of this new chapter of FNAF, and it's just, like, that's it. Like, it's just so... I don't want to... It's not bad. It's not bad. I really like it as an ending. I think it's really creepy, and it's honestly kind of sad. Because, like, we know the Mimic's backstory... And it's it's tragic, and it's just it's 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 all just so like so weird. Like in a way, it's I, I don't know if bittersweet's the word, it, but like I, it kind of is. It's kind of bittersweet seeing the mimic go like the the mimic go like that. Man, it's a creepy bittersweet ending, which is fitting for FNAF. But yeah, I don't know what's up with like that scooper room, because even if this ending isn't canon, which trust me, it's not. <laughs> they would not get rid of the Mimic that fast. Like, that ending is like, it, that's a good ending. The Mimic's dead. But like, still, I don't know. Like, it's so weird. That room exists way below the FNAF 6 location. Which, if the FNAF 6 location is Fredbear's, Circus Baby's Pizza and, no, Circus Baby's Entertainment and Rental would be under it. Which means that the scooping room would be there. And the fact that it's called the scooping, the scooper ending in the files. I think that machine is supposed to be like the real life version of the scooper. Because Sister Location is just an in-universe game. And it's, it's just so weird. That entire ending is so weird. But it's not the last ending. There is a third one. Alright, so now we have to... Go to that Fredbear cutout. I can't believe I like, I touched it in my playthrough and I somehow didn't notice that I have to put on the Vanny mask. 
Oops, wrong one. Yeah. I don't think that ending is as weird as the... I don't think that ending is as weird as the scooper ending. Oh, so I'm gonna... just gonna skip this. It's just the daycare music. And I, I don't want to... I don't want it to talk over me. So, like... In that ending, in the files, it's called the Brazil ending. Which might sound weird at first, because it is. But, basically, it's a reference to a movie... Where... The protagonist, like, they were in, like, a dream or something the entire time. I really don't know. I only saw, like, a brief recap of it on Twitter. But, basically, in Brazil, the main character goes into a fantasy world, and they think they're there. That's pretty much what happens. Not pretty much what happens, but in that ending, in the Brazil ending, which we just got, Cassie goes to that Fredbear cutout. Puts on the Vanny mask, the AR mask, and she doesn't get transported to this alternate world, heaven maybe, I don't know. She just thinks she has. She, she hides from the Mimic and escapes into this alternate reality where she's with Gregory and healthy and they're happy. They're all happy. They're eating ice cream together on a hill. The sun's there. Their balloons, which I don't know, could represent like the spirits, her spirit going to heaven or something. I don't know. Now, interesting, Vanessa's there. Cassie shouldn't really know Vanessa, but I think, I think Vanessa is there to show that a the princess quest ending is canon. She Vanessa is free, and b maybe that's the friend Gregory was talking about. But yeah, that ending is like just really dark. Cassie tries to hide from the mimic, escapes into this alternate world, not alternate world, like she escapes into her mind and just imagines she's happy with Gregory and Vanessa and presumably the mimic finds and kills her. Interesting how the mimic says, Cassie, I'm okay, I found a spot to hide. He says that earlier in the game as Gregory and after he says that, we hear Cassie breathing, panic. We, we hear Cassie panic breathing. So, in my opinion, what happens is Cassie hides. She does her breathing, panic breathing. The Mimic finds her and I guess maybe hides inside her body, wears her as a suit. Kind of like how in the Tales from the Pizzaplex epilogues, the Mimic wears a teenage girl who's hiding in a suit, which is probably Burntrap's body. I, I think that's an interesting parallel there. I don't know. Otherwise, I don't know how to explain that line. The, I found a place to hide. Or maybe it's just Cassie thinking, hey, Gregory's safe. He found a place to hide. I'm going to join him, and we will be happy together with Vanessa and Helpy. Also, the fact that Helpy's there could mean that that actually does... That is her escaping into the AR world, because Helpy was kind of our guide there, who might have been the mimic. I don't know. Game theory, Twitter users think that, I don't know. But yeah, that ending was really dark. The, the last two, the, the not, I mean, all the endings in this game are dark. One of them, our friend, well, not our friend, the mimic pretending to be our friend drops an elevator and almost kills us. In another one, we find the scooper and kill the mimic, which I guess isn't really that sad, but to me it is. And then in another ending, Cassie hides from the mimic and gets caught and dies, probably. Also, interesting how I, I called this out my first time seeing it. Interesting how it's a Fredbear cutout. I really do think that's supposed to... Because why would it be Fredbear? He's holding ice cream, which they do in the ending. The Brazil ending. So maybe that's where Cassie got the idea of that. But why Fredbear? Like, I, I, I just think it's supposed to tell us that FNAF 6 is Fredbear's. Or maybe... FNAF 6 is on top of Fred Bears? I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. So yeah. That was all for this. That's all for this video. I'm really, really disappointed that we couldn't go see Glamrock Bonnie, but... 
you, you guys probably know what he looks like already. It's been a few days since Ruins come out. We found all the secrets. We've explored the game. We played Chica's Feeding Frenzy. We got the other endings. I'm satisfied, mostly. I can't even get all the collectibles because there's one in Glamrock Bonnie's rune. So, eh, that sucks. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm probably not going to make another video on Ruin unless there's like a big update, which adds, which fixes Glamrock Pony, which adds a secret ending where you save all the Glamrocks and they all fight the Mimic and they re-add the bowling minigame, but I, I don't think so. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. If you've watched all the videos on Ruin, thank you so much. Some of them did way better than I thought they would, which I'm really happy with. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which I don't know what it will be. Probably another, like, I don't know. Probably another FNAF discussion topic video. Those do really good, and I enjoy making them. I was actually going to make a theory video on which ending was canon, but I'm beginning to think I should make a different video. I won't give any hints. I don't even know if I'm going to make it, but we'll see. Until then, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.